Hey there fellow YouTubers and brewers alike. Just wanted to show you uh, a little bit of my uh, uh, money saving uh, idea that I came up with. It's how to turn one of these big old box freezers into a refrigerator, but the easy way. So here's what I did. I got this Ombre Firm Firmstar. I just got it in today, hooked it up. And uh, it, what it does is uh, it lets you control the uh, the heating and the cooling cycle inside of there because uh, I live in Colorado lately. It's been so cold that it's been freezing everything over in there and I just can't have that. So uh, what I did when I got it is I went to my settings and I adjusted my uh, turn on the heater and cooler and adjusted the cycles of two minutes. So every two minutes it's going to cycle one of the two. And... Um, it's either going to heat it up or cool it down. As you can see, it's my uh, set temperature, my actual, and uh, it just kicked on my heater. And I know most of you are saying, well, I don't have a heater in mine. Well, what I did was I went and bought a heater from Walmart, stuck it in there. And that one I like because it's a 360 degree directional heater, so it has heat coming out on every degree on every side um, I cranked it up to max uh, max fan max heat because uh, my controller here will control it when it hits that point and then on my uh, Delta it lets you control uh, how big of a difference there's gonna be in temperature under your settings it's called your Delta I put a one degree difference so it's either gonna be 40 or 41 degrees um, but you know, as you can see it gets a little but it gets above that because of the residual heat and whatnot and you know the reason it's saying a uh, cool override is because two minutes has not elapsed since it kicked on the last cycle so every two minutes it's kicking on one of the cycles but what that does is since it's not constantly going trying to freeze or refrigerate it's saving you money Damn. And then it also makes for great storage of wines, beers, or just your goods. Because right now, as you can see, mine's kind of empty because it's been freezing everything over. I haven't been having to dethaw everything. So if you're thinking about turning this into a ferment or something like this into a fermenter, refrigerator, or whatever, I suggest getting that because uh, the price is well worth it. And um, yeah really nice.